Hello everyone, Christine McKee here from the Emerging Technology team. In today's video, we're going to take a closer look at the screen recording feature built into the Flipgrid camera. Now, for today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use the screen recording feature while you're recording a short in order to create an epic, engaging mini lesson or tutorial video for your students. Keep in mind that the screen recording feature is built into the Flipgrid camera. So even your students have access to screen recording when they are recording their video responses to topics in Flipgrid. All right, let's get started. So here I am in Shorts. I've logged into my educator account and I've simply clicked on Shorts in the top menu bar. And I'm gonna click plus short to launch the Flipgrid camera. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get all set up to start recording my mini lesson. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a backdrop. And I'm just gonna move myself over to the right. Now today's lesson is going to be on adjectives. So I'm gonna go into effects and click on text and I'm going to uh, type the title adjectives. Keep in mind that with uh, textiles, you can also change the color, the stroke and the background or even the font of your text. And I'm gonna move that up into the far left corner. Now I'm gonna do one more thing from the effects menu and that is click on photo because I have an anchor chart that I've taken a picture of that I want to add to talk about in my video recording. All right, so we'll just resize that image and move it around to where I would like it to appear on my screen. All right, and now I can start recording my lesson. So in today's lesson, we're going to talk about adjectives. What are adjectives? What are some examples of adjectives? And to support the discussion, we're gonna read a book from Epic. I'm gonna go ahead and click Next, and I'm going to add more. But this time, I'm gonna go into Options, and I'm gonna click on Record Screen, because I wanna capture a tab or a browser tab uh, that I have Epic Books open in. So I'm gonna make sure that my camera is set correctly and my microphone is set correctly. And I'm gonna click Start Screen Recording. And then I've got two monitors so I can see two entire screens. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and select Chrome tab and I'm gonna select Epic. Notice that I could also select a window that I have open. And of course, I can select my entire screen to capture my desktop. But again, I'm gonna to go to Chrome tab, select Epic and click Share. And now I am recording this particular tab. Uh, in this case, a story about adjectives from Epic in Flipgrid. And I could go through and talk about how all of the colored words above are examples of adjectives. And adjectives can be used to describe just about everything, people and things, activities, feelings, ideas, and more. And we can continue to navigate through the book and I can talk to my students about adjectives, how we can use adjectives to compare things, big, bigger, and biggest, and once I finish the book, I can simply say, stop sharing. I can go back to my tab where I have my Flipgrid video. And now notice that I'm brought into the preview window where I can preview the clips that I have now recorded. So I've recorded that introduction and here's that clip that I recorded while I was sharing my browser tab. Just like any clip that I've recorded in a Flipgrid video, I can simply select the clip. I can trim from the beginning and I can trim at the end. I can confirm any edits that I make. Notice that I can continue adding more so I could record even more clips. And that's because in a short, I have up to 10 minutes to record. Notice that while I'm previewing my clips, I can actually click add music. So I could add music to this particular clip. 
Now I could preview the different instrumentals and once I've uh, found an instrumental that I'd like to use, I just simply click plus to add that so music to my clip. Once I'm ready to submit my short, I would simply click next. I can confirm my cover photo. If I don't like the frame that Flipgrid has automatically chosen for me, I can select a different frame. I can take a selfie or I can upload a photo. I can also provide a description of this particular short. And once I'm ready to submit, I just simply click confirm. And my short is ready to share. Now, if I'm not quite ready to share it yet, I can simply click close. I can always come back to shorts in the educator dashboard and I can select the short that I wish to share. Notice that here I can add a title for my short. I can simply click on the short. I can preview my short. And then once I'm ready to share, I simply click the share button and notice that I can share my short with my students in a wide variety of ways. I can copy the link to give them the link. I can download the video to add it to a PowerPoint or a Google Slides presentation. Notice that I could share with a QR code. So maybe I add that QR code to my presentation slides or maybe I even print out the QR code to post up in my classroom. Or I can share the short video directly to Google Classroom or directly to Microsoft Class Teams along with more instructions or additional activities for the lesson. Once again, keep in mind that just as you have access to using screen recording in shorts, your students have access to using screen recording when they're recording a response to a topic in Flipgrid. For students, this can be an amazing way for them to capture and showcase their learning and digital products that they've created in a wide variety of platforms or environments.